What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Now, today, actually last night, we got the Valus quest back. Now, if you haven't run this before, uh, basically it's really simple. You just go through this bad boy right here. In fact, I'm going to grab this team here because let me make sure everyone has the right items. He does not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, and I'm actually going to give, and sh I don't remember who did this. Somebody reminded me of this last time Valus quest was around. But if you go down here, if you actually have the North American or the Japanese version, you can do this. Unfortunately, this is not an option on the EU server. I'm so sorry, guys. There's not much I could do about that, but I'm going to go ahead and do this by dagger. I think it's a dagger. I'm looking for happy knife, happy golden knife. There we go. Bam. Bam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip as many of these units on here as I can with the happy golden knife. So she should have one. Uh, she's got the happy knife. She should have one. Yep, she has the happy golden knife. She should have one. She has the happy knife, and she should have the other happy knife. Yeah. So I've only got two of the two of the three potential happy golden knives. Uh, Haruhime, because I was requested to put her on the front of the first team. She doesn't have it. You don't have to run this as your first team. I just do because got nothing better to do. But long story short. Well, along with running this, along with getting all the Valus you're going to get, because I believe this is like, I think a million Valus per run. You can run it once a day. It's really substantial. It really, really helps out. If you can, if you're on the EU or Japanese servers, you need to run this with the Happy Knives, Happy Golden Knives. You can equip three Happy Golden Knives to, per team and three Happy Knives per team, and each one of those is going to give you a substantial boost to your Valus. So not only should you be running this, if you haven't farmed the casino, it's a great time to do so. All right, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Bam. Quest clear. Look at that. How much Valus did we get? Almost one and a half mil. Would have been one and a half mil had it had the leather happy golden knife. All right. So when I say the casino, I'm talking about if we go down here to quests, we go to the Ryu story and you go to the casino right there. Bam. You can actually play a poker game. I'm just going to do a quick one here. See what we come up with. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to go ahead and hold those two. And it's just one pair. So I didn't win that one, unfortunately. But when you win, when you beat all these, you can go into the item exchange. And you can actually exchange for, obviously, you get the, the bunny goddess Hestia, the bunny princess eyes, and all those. These units aren't really worth it anything anymore they're more for collection purposes though remember when you limit break them you do get you know some valus but or sorry, i'm sorry some iris but it's really not incredibly worthwhile what's really amazing see that happy golden knife right there i'm, I'm at 14 mil i'm not quite at 20 mil to get it so base what i need to do is i just need to go farm them happy golden mail is actually another good one but a happy golden knife if you're using that says a knife that brings in good fortune increases valves earned when equipped I forget what the exact exact percentage of it is but it's a real like 15 percent i think or something like that it's a high percentage if you go down here right underneath happy mail there would be the happy knife that's the three star version so happy golden knife is the four star version i believe that gives you 15 percent. i think something like that uh may maybe not quite 15 percent because we got 50 percent and it maths out one way or the other Maybe it's like 10% and the other ones are 5%. I don't know. Uh, it's The numbers aren't really relevant. But Happy Golden Knife will give you a percentage boost on your Valus intake on whatever event you're grinding. Happy Knife will give you a little bit less. But once again, once you equip all three, it's about a 50% boost in the amount of Valus you're receiving per run. Actually, maybe like a little more. I don't I really have to look at the numbers. I honestly don't recollect what the numbers are, but the numbers aren't the most important thing. The most important thing you know is you get a huge boost here. Now, once again, you people, I'm really sorry. You guys don't have the casino. It's just the laws in your area that prevent them from implementing this in the game. And if it makes you feel any better, well, we were due to get four more games and we got none of them because they couldn't distribute them on a worldwide scale. So, you know, obviously, why put money into producing games for something that's only going to be on two of your numerous servers? So, it is a thing, though. 
Uh, but if you're on the EU or, or Japanese server, you can play poker, come in here, get those knives, and that will increase your Valus intake. If you're on the EU server, just run it. It's still a million Valus per, and if you need a little bit more, you can come down here and run the regular Valus quest. That's 100,000 per run, and the Mega Valus quest is a million. L literally, it's like 10 runs of this, but one, and you, I mean, but one run, and you get one freebie a day. Unfortunately, we can't unlock it again. It is done deal. I gotta wait for it to unlock again here. So, which luckily for me will be in just a few hours. So, that isn't the only thing that actually came to the game as of today. We also got a big decrease. So all of this fauna, every bit of fauna here is unlocked. Actually, you can see it's three, almost four o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this. Just gave myself away. So, all of the fauna is unlocked and it is all half price. So you can actually go in here and farm up as much fauna as you need about as cheaply as you could ever possibly do that. Another really nice part about all this, if you go and do the Exilia quest, when you unlock this beast, that is a reduced stamina cost. Now, obviously we want to go in here and do the EX. EX is a stamina cost 24, it's half of what your normal stamina cost would be very worthwhile doing absolutely worthwhile doing so you want to take advantage of all of this i believe the valus quest uh yeah so uh valus quest is not reduced cost but you know we're getting the mega valus quest you're gonna be good to go so if you need to upgrade units definitely make sure you're running your fauna quest and your auxiliary quest on top of this but don't forget to run this each and every single day while it's around it'll be gone next week so next wednesday it will be your last opportunity to run it once it runs out we'll get another one i forget what the next one is maybe the next one is hero fauna i don't remember Maybe i honestly don't recollect yeah, i think the next one's hero fauna quest and then we get the crystal rabbit quest i think is the order that goes in but i'd have to go back through the notes and right either way either way we are getting some big bonuses for the next couple of weeks you want to take advantage and these being half price are going to be a huge benefit to those people that are trying to upgrade units and trying to you know because like if you want to farm a bunch a lot of people have asked me how do i get more iris for the incoming anime banners because remember every friday now we're gonna get a new banner we're gonna get two new story events but if you want to chase that banner every single time you know, it's four thousand iris a week that's insane it's really expensive well if you go in here and you um, manage to upgrade all of your two stars and three stars each and every single one of those that's upgraded is a, I went like 80 almost 100 iris per unit now put a little cp into the unit whatever you do you can average out to about 100 iris per unit if you really are trying so that's a lot of quickie iris now my opinion i would say don't do that don't max those units out. Save those units because also, once you max those units out, what are you going to do? Every day you need to do some some leveling to get your daily events. So I'd really recommend not doing that. Worst case, if you need to do that, do that for like an anniversary or a big collab event or something like that. But there are going to be some units coming here in the next couple of weeks that are going to be very very big and very important to the game just like our Hime was we got last year winnie this week is not that unfortunately but stay tuned guys we're gonna have more of that that's i mean the whole reason this is live is so that we can farm all this stuff upgrade some units that's the whole campaign on this bad boy so make sure you take in about taking advantage of all this but for now that's gonna be the video like comment and share i'll catch you all on the next one